I recognize the Minister of Justice. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Though names like Scott, Douglas, and Diefenbaker distinguish the history of our province, today, Mr. Speaker, I would submit to you that there are others. Names such as Hilda Neatby, historian and companion of the Order of Canada, Sarah Ramsland, Saskatchewan's first MLA, Sylvia Fedoric, cancer researcher, curler, and lieutenant governor, and Ethel Catherwood, Canada's only female gold winner in individual track and field, that deserve the same recognition and renown. These names belong to pioneering women of Saskatchewan's history, individuals of humbling fortitude and achievement whose contributions are felt by those of all genders. March 8th is International Women's Day, a day to celebrate the empowerment of women while acknowledging that women continue to face unique obstacles. We do this not out of sentiment, but because we understand, in the words of Ban Ki-moon, that equality for women means progress for all. Fifty years ago, in 1964, Saskatchewan proudly established the Women's Division, one of the first government units in the country dedicated to the advancement of women. Today, the status of women, women office continues. Our 2014 theme is Communities in Action, Ending Violence Against Women and Girls, recognizing that issues like interpersonal violence, sexual assault, and cyberbullying continue to threaten their well-being. The aforementioned names are only a very small sampling of the extraordinary women, women who have called this province home. So to the women across Saskatchewan and Canada and around the world, I invite all members to join me in sending our very best on Saturday, the 39th International Women's Day. Here, here. Here, here.